it's that easy. Well. You're live now. Hi. <laughs> All right. Um, welcome to our new kitchen. Uh, for those of you who have seen a cooking stream, well, who have not seen a cooking stream, welcome. For those of you who have, welcome back. Um, we have some new digs, so hopefully that'll mean this goes a little bit better. Um, so actually today we're going to do pretzel twists. I'm going to give you this warning right now. The bot decided not to actually tell everyone, so I'm running around doing all the social media stuff, because since I didn't start from my computer, the bot didn't tell everybody. Ah. Oh, and I can't. Hold on. Chat. Come here. Ah. I'm hitting my chat. Yay, chat. Hi, chat. You're over there, but you're kind of here, so. Hi, Alice Cat. Thanks for coming. Okay, we're going to do pretzel bites today. Um, so, well, pretzel twists. Because I could do regular pretzels, but I like the bites better, or the twists better, because they're just a little bit smaller. Um, they're more shareable. So, um, what I have here, cup and a half of water. Um, it's about 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so that way I can uh, bloom the yeast. So we're actually going to go with this. Um, we need one tablespoon of sugar. And I know this is not in grams. Hi! Yes, a wild crackler jack appears. Hi, I'm the dork. So we'll do a tablespoon of sugar in there. And then you would want what is one packet of yeast, um, but we have a jar of yeast, so that's two and a quarter teaspoons. I love that I set this up so that I could actually manipulate it, but now I can't manipulate it. So well, you can. No, I can't. I can't see anything. You, you can move it back. No, then you can't see chat. Well, I can find another way to see chat. <laughs> so I need two... Sorry, your throat's loud. Just a little bit. Also, I like that apparently we now know what makes uh, I Am The Dork come back, which is <laughs> Haley. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and let that bloom um, for five minutes, and we're going to get the rest of our dry ingredients uh, set up. So it's going to be two teaspoons of kosher salt. And I know you guys can't see this, but it's really adorable. So behind the camera... Uh, there's my chair, and Cosmo's currently sitting on the back of it, just staring me down. So yeah, two teaspoons of kosher salt. I mean, they can see it, because they can just do... Um, oh, oh, oh. There's a Cosmo! Yay, Cos! Hi, Cosmo! Just staring. Just endlessly staring. <laughs> oh my god, that yeast is still super active. Okay, that's cool. I mean, can smell it. They're basically zombies. Wow, shit, I can smell it. <laughs> yes, we are all very glad that you came back. I am the door. Even out with Kat. We missed you. How you doing, man? Yeah, we haven't, I haven't seen you in a while. I mean, I haven't seen him in a while either. Okay. I assume it has something to do with the job that requires constant travel. That's true. I did not want to open properly. I did a house tour a while ago, Tramer. Hey, Tramer. Hey, Dovin. Wow, everybody's here. <laughs> right. Ooh, I'm sorry. I am the dork. That makes complete sense. Like I said, I assumed it had something to do with having to, like, travel. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so, what you can't see here, I have me a scale. So, I can weigh my flour. I usually weigh my ingredients, but like this recipe, most of it's all non-weighted. Um, so we're gonna do 22 ounces of flour. And I prefer bread flour for this. The original recipe called for all purpose, but I think it's just a little too soft, personally. We did it in like a, I need to find the video trailer. It was part of another stream. That's 
Good God, this is almost painful. One pound, six ounces. <laughs> wow, this is why I prefer grams, everyone. Because there's a thousand grams to a kilogram. So much easier. Oh, and Piccolo popped in too. Welcome, Piccolo. friend. Piccolo, hi. Oh my gracious, that made it easier. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. So, for those of you who, I know it's in the title or whatever, but... I, the title is just, It's a Test. Ah! <laughs> hey, Peggy! What's up? And Peggy, too? Yes! Yay. All my friends are here. I'm so excited. <laughs> Mostly because cooking. So, they'll they'll suffice for me instead of you. Oh, yes. It's cooking. Oh, no, 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 not suffice. This is <laughs> assuredly a strict <laughs> upgrade, and you all know it. All right, um, and the last thing we're going to need for this is um, two ounces of butter melted. So I'm going to pull that off of there. I'm honestly kind of impressed that... So this is while Haley is off doing other stuff. So this is running on a bright purple HP laptop. <laughs> that was just kind of casually handed to us as we were getting ready to leave Texas. And we haven't dropped a frame yet, which I'm fucking amazed by. Why did you say anything? Because it's actually uh, processing higher than it needs to. So it's doing better than my computer does. I mean, I still don't know what the hell the issue... I can probably figure out what the issue with your computer is, but this one, like, I just don't know why there isn't an issue mostly. Like, there really should be. Oh, that's gonna explode if I don't watch it. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think it's just mostly silly, Peggy, that I've got this stupid bright purple HP laptop that yeah. is giving us fewer... I-, I mean, it can literally only be running Streamlabs, but with Haley's computer, whenever she tries to do her home streams, um, it was mostly an issue with Overwatch. You didn't have an issue with uh, Graveyard Keeper, did you? Uh, I had a couple issues. I just had to drop... Um... The number was 3,500, and I dropped it down. Oh, that's bad then. That shouldn't... Oh, it's because you don't have a wired connection. Right. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Honestly, we might just want to pick up a couple more of those adapters. Yeah. And just... I need to remember how to change it so it's not rebroadcasting into the same name. But then you should be fine, because this is hitting 3,500 no problem. Yeah. So I just dropped that down. I dropped it down to 3,400. That's a weirdly minor change. Okay. And it did much better. So, yeah. Sorry, I'm trying not to have butter explode in our microwave, Mm. um, because it will. I would love to do this with an overhead camera. The problem is we don't really have a good way to mount it that won't also make our own home kitchen not super useful. Um, cause our camera's not bad for it. It's mostly just that the angles are always going to be a little weird unless we want to yes. pre-plan a lot of stuff. Yeah. So, all right, this has been sitting probably long enough. I don't know. I can smell it. So that means it's working. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put in all of our flour. Um, flour, salt, um, and then we're also going to add in the butter. And it's just water and yeast in there? Uh, sugar. Okay. Water, yeast, and sugar. So we're going to take the dough hook. Okay, that wasn't dropped frames. That was actually just like the webcam not being able to handle, or the computer not being able to handle the webcam. Okay. Okay. It just froze for a second. Um, so I'm going to start this on low speed. If this thing is on, that'd be cool. It was on. I thought it was. I'm moving the mic back so that they don't get deafened. Gotcha. That's cool. Oh, it's oh not that's weird. Turning on. There you go. Oh, okay. Ta da. Alright, so we're gonna let that go on low speed. Um, basically, just stir. Huh. Yeah, that might be an idea. I'll get. I'll look into it, but. Uh, I just don't know. Because we don't have the benefit, well, I mean, we have the benefit of this is actually just our kitchen, so we can do whatever the hell we want with it, but it's also our kitchen, so we don't necessarily want shit mounted to the ceiling. Alright, so basically what I'm waiting on um, is for everything to kind of come together, 
That way I can kick the speed up and start the kneading process. Oh, Dogen, I promise you it's not actually all that cozy. It's super nice. Like, I, I'm assuming that by cozy you mean sort of tight. It's really open and super nice. Like, not pictured is that there's a dog right behind Haley who she hasn't even noticed until I pointed it out. Yeah, no. I'm so used to Cosmo being in here with me anyway. He usually will sit on, we have these like mats in our kitchen, comfort mats. Um, and we usually sit on one of the comfort mats in the corner and he just, uh, he just kind of hangs out. Right now he's actually just playing with himself, but still. That's what, what's he doing? He's just, like, rolling around on his back. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's super, super, like, yes. in that form of cozy? Totally. Because here, while Haley's doing this mixing, I can give you all yeah. a quick, like, run through. do the thing and the stuff. Yeah, so we've, this is our nice little island. It's beautiful and wonderful. All of our assorted stupid snacks and the upper shelf we don't use because it's too fucking high. Yeah, because our cabinets go all the way to the ceiling, which I fucking love. Because there's not that stupid little awkward space that you're like, oh man, I can't put anything up there, it just collects dust. We've got our actually really nice new refrigerator. We keep all of our excess appliances up there. Just, like I said, we've got this nice big open space down here around the island with dog. Alright, I'm gonna keep the mixer speed up, so just beware. Yeah. Alright, sorry guys, it's gonna get very loud. I will protect you from the mixer. Um, and then the kitchen just keeps going oh, back God. around there. <laughs> and we've got one of these little, like, cabinet storage things. We're hoping to have a second one, which is in that box, but they're a massive pain in the ass to assemble, so I haven't assembled the second one yet. The dough may or may not be trying to come out of there. Uh, they can see it. A little bit. Which is why I'm holding the mic up over here with me, so that it's not getting vibrations through the, uh, <laughs> the island. Because we don't want to mute the mic like we did before, because it's a pain. Oh, you can see me twice. Oh, that's concerning. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. This is just making me think of more and more of the things from. If anyone's in the states, um, the Good Eats Reloaded. Oh my god. I um, love it. Because one, we love Good Eats, but there's uh, a new show, right? New show, Re Good Eats Reloaded, where. Uh, the he, in some cases, yeah, he's a lot of the stuff he's doing is with uh, GoPros. Yeah. But a lot of the things are that um, he's going back and redoing old episodes of Good Eats, and on one of the very first ones, he like uh, self inserts into the camera and goes <laughs> like, <laughs> and he yes. goes like, you see this thing right here, pointing to like a little bit of black foil. That like this wasn't visible when we filmed it in film, but then had to cut it down to four by three. But now that we're, I'm showing you this video in 16 by 9 you can see this little bit of black film. It's gonna piss me off until the end of time. <laughs> it just makes me so happy. <laughs> yeah, so, by the way, my hand is not actually in the mixer. I am just merely stopping the dough from coming out. Don't put your hand in mixers. Really don't. Um, bad things happen. So it is quite literally just keeping that dough in there because it's a smaller mixer. I mean, we have the big mixer, you we just don't do. like using it. Well, also it doesn't fit in its handy little storage spot. Yes, yeah, so we can just put it in front of the storage spot. Yeah, I'm gonna take some valuable counter space. Haley, this counter was entirely covered in stuff until like an hour ago. There we go. Here, now you can hear Haley better. Yay, Haley, okay. Um, so I'm actually gonna just work this a little bit by hand because it was having a tough time in the mixer. This is why we have the real mixer that has a horsepower. I'm very proud of that. I know you're very proud of that. What? Sounds like your work taps. But yes. Okay. Why do you keep putting this on backwards? It was like that when. No, it wasn't. Was because it I fixed it. Yes. Yes. Covered in stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, God forbid you look at my desk. Ooh, don't look at my desk. There's a reason why I'm the one who's here most of the time, and I try and avoid the kitchen because I look at it and it makes me shudder. Yeah. Also, if you use all-purpose, then you won't probably need as much kneading. 
you don't do, need to do as much kneading. But again, I think the bread flour just makes it... Wouldn't it be the exact opposite? Wouldn't you need to do more kneading to produce more gluten? No, because it can't produce that much gluten. And it can't produce as much, but you also just straight up wouldn't produce as much. Hmm? Yeah, stuff everywhere. I like that everybody can relate to the stuff everywhere. I can relate. It's just I go out of my way to fix it every couple of days. Yeah, and then I go in your office and I move things around. Like... Yes, and then I go, where the fuck is my ex? Because I can't find <laughs> X, and I need it for Y, and now I need to reorganize my office again! Why don't you just leave shit in there? Like, trash. Well, that's because we have, like, no trash cans. We can get more trash cans! Can we get more trash cans that the dogs don't get into? Because yes. that's the prevailing issue. What are you pulling off of this? I don't know, there was, like, breadcrumb or something. Okay, I was like, I just cleaned this counter. <laughs> the clean worst fix is a sign of a disease. <laughs> really? I would have thought all purpose would be a thing outside of, uh, uh, in the UK at least. No, it's plain flour. Oh, okay, but it's basically <laughs> the same? Yeah, so. We're back. Sorry, guys. Sorry, that was weird. We can still totally see chat. It never went away. It's just. The. Oh, Peggy, try refreshing because there is video going out. Yeah. Um. Okay, he's got it. That's very bizarre that. We didn't, like, the internet didn't go out from the PC, it was just the connect, or not the connection, just the OBS stopped broadcasting, which is weird. That's bizarre. I don't even know why I did that. Oh, that OBS just didn't connect. No, it's just OBS stopped being connected. <laughs> Yes, now it's fixed, so everything else Ooh. is someone else's problem. <laughs> you need to check the garlic. Will you do that? Yep. So I also have, so we're doing pretzel bites, pretzel technically twists, um, but pretzel bites, and then I'm also doing a roasted garlic cheese sauce to go with it. I'll just spill what I think is oil. It is oil. What? There are so many more efficient ways to do this then. That don't involve potentially spilling oil when you send someone else to go check on it. I forgot to mention that bit. You did. I did. Because I'm tell bad me if at that's good or not. I just don't know what you're actually looking for. Oh. More cooked or not? Uh, yeah. That's such a bad. No. <laughs> oh. Everything that she's doing in there is making me go, God, I'm glad that eventually we'll have to replace that oven. <laughs> it's fine, as long as you leave it totally upright. It's really not. It really is. Balancing it in between slats and a yep. rack. I know. It's a bad idea. It's what? a very bad idea. <sighs> it's also definitely not OSHA approved. Oh my god. Well, I wouldn't have put my hand anywhere near the top of the mixer then. And I would technically have to unplug the mixer before going in to get my dog. No, 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 that, that one's not OSHA. That is a individual workplace rule. And the OSHA response to the stuff coming out over it would just be, use the lid. But I don't think that one has a lid, does it? No. The only the other one does? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's technically really more of a flower spout. <laughs> it's not a, it is a spout, but it happens to come with a lid that sort of keeps things kind of contained. Kind of. Kind of. You're up. You can't totally reach out. So, rue into a bechamel sauce? Yes, rue into a bechamel. And that's exactly what we're doing. Currently, it's apparently going to be based off of an entire garlic. Yes, okay, so I'm roasting. Basically, I took a head of garlic. That's yeah. it. I couldn't remember head. It was like, what is an entire unit of garlic? <laughs> <laughs> um, so I took an entire head of garlic. I chopped the top off. I poured some oil on it and then salt and pepper and wrapped it in tin foil. See, my confusion is now that the garlic is upside down, how does any of that matter? Because it all went in. It's not upside down. It is upside down. No, it's not. I'm pretty sure it was. What do you mean? 
The garlic was upside down. No, it's not. I'm pretty sure it was. No. <laughs> also, I spilled oil on the floor, so now the dog is licking it up. Yes, because our dogs are... Our dogs also like to eat snow. Okay, so it's snowed a whole lot recently, um, and we have this fun thing where our back sliding door, it all piles up like this. So the dogs like knock it over when they come back inside. So if you pick it up and throw it at them, they'll eat it. Because they're weird. And but you they... need to pick it up and throw it because it falls into the sliding glass door and prevents it from opening. Closing. Or closing. Okay. So I know it's, you haven't been able to see in great detail what's happening, but this dough has really smoothed out. So when it's not quite developed enough, basically when you haven't kneaded it enough, um, it looks very rough and kind of patchy. Um, but once you knead it for a while, be it in the mixer, be it by hand, however you do it. <laughs> there are dogs and dogs will eat anything. Yeah. Our dogs do prefer carrots for treats. Like, we don't actually buy dog treats. We just buy baby carrots. So. But, yeah. Now I will be a much more efficient helper because I can hide off screen with a beer. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, when the dough's under, like, underdeveloped, you'll see how it kind of stretches and tears a lot. There we go. Instead of getting a nice smooth skin all over the whole thing. Yeah. So, I'm not going to do this until full development because that's going to be near to impossible. Unless I break out the big guns, which I don't want to. Or just mix it forever. Yeah. That too. But this is a nice way to hang out with chat and still be semi-productive. So. Yeah. But yeah. Um, so anyway. Actually, while we're doing this, I'm going to go grab my 3DS so I can do Pokemon grinding. <laughs> Priorities. So yeah, you can see there's like still a little bit of tearing, but overall it's starting to wow. That would be more helpful if it was on camera. So there's still some tearing, but overall it's starting to smooth out. Um, so I'm actually going to eat this in a ball and come here. Actually, we're gonna do this. I promise I'm still here. I just disappeared for a moment. Um, so I was going to use the mixer bowl, but I don't know if I'll need to mix anything else, so I'm not. Um, bowl of hand spray. Stuff the sucker in there. I'm the dork. Was that an attempt to get one of us to go off on a tear about how fucking everything that we eat is either a lily or, or a rose relative? So I'm going to cover this sucker plastic wrap. Ideally, you want to place it somewhere warm, um, and right now it's going to be on top of the um, 400 degree oven. Yes, on top of the 400 degree oven on the stove. Um. <laughs> hey, Peggy, we didn't talk about the fact that everything is lilies. We only talked about how almost all fruits that we eat are uh, related to the rose. There's a distinction. It's a weird one, but there is a distinction. All right. So... Well, that proves. So what time is it? Uh, 1.46. Okay. Oh, no, wait, what? Why does that say 1.46? Oh, because That's this thing's Texas lying time. and it's still in... <sighs> Why is it still in Texas time? I don't know. You're the one who's been touching it since we got back. Not that much. You're the one who's touched it at all. <laughs> oh, just stating more info you learned from Mr. Brown? Actually, sorry, let me correct myself. Everything we eat is either roses, lilies, or cabbages. Because basically any green vegetable, um, like not green beans, but pretty much any green vegetable is a fucking cabbage. Green, leafy. Also yes. cauliflower. Like cauliflower, uh, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, kale, uh, fucking everything is goddamn cabbage. Keep telling you we need new cutting boards. You just never listen. <laughs> Yay, kitchen squabbles between two professionals. Right, this 
That's pretty much why I use that one in the purple one only, because all the other ones are either too small or starting to warp. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start on stuff for the cheese sauce. Artichokes are thistles. They're actually also related to uh, sunflowers, yeah. Yep. The sunflowers are part of the thistle family. But there's a reason why we don't eat terribly much of artichokes. Like, we... Oh, we want wooden boards, but they're so expensive. And, well, okay, either they're cheap as shit um, mm. and warp, just like plastic boards do, or they're awesome and super expensive. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, that's part of why we don't eat so much of artichokes, because it's mostly inedible fiber. Oh, this is a smoked beer. It is. Breer, sorry. Yeah. Getting my cheeses mixed up. Um, so, for the cheese sauce, in addition to the roasted garlic... Um, we're going to be using a blend of mozzarella, cheddar, and gruyere. Oh, did the bot just tweet or post in Discord that motherfucker? It's a little slow on the uptake. It usually isn't. That's why I'm annoyed. Alright, so... But basically, we're just going to take this... Yes, I know I'm grading it on an angle, but that was the easiest way to start, so don't judge me. <laughs> I know he would say something about it. I actually don't care. However, mm, the sweet sound of grating cheese. It's actually not that pleasant to <laughs> sound, but it's not bad. So here's the thing. The bot is actually running just fine. It's just that it seems to have decided to not post in the discord because i didn't go live from my computer it's angry and we're not going to run the bot on this computer because we can't fucking trust this computer it is a laptop yeah i mean it's a laptop and it's a shitty hp laptop that uh it's a shitty hp laptop but it was free yeah. for us so what are we doing If it's free and we can start cooking streams again, hell yeah. Also, please give a huge shout out to Aleph Cat because that's he is the reason this is happening. Um, so for those of you who don't support us on Patreon, um, one of our patron tiers um, was set so that way once we have people starting to support at that tier, um, this, this could start back again. Um, because we used to do this when we were at our old place. But then, A, it wasn't a great kitchen to film in. Um, B, uh, yeah, it just really wasn't a great kitchen to film in. I do miss our com our laptop that was able to, and our internet that was able to handle it from Wi-Fi, though. That was CenturyLink. You hated that. Yeah, I hated CenturyLink, but at the same time, our upload and our Wi-Fi was better. Okay. Like, the, the problem right now is that um, we have Xfinity, and Xfinity will not let you ch select uh, upload speeds. Ah. All of your choices are based on download. Gotcha. So, at the last place, we had, on paper, we were supposed to have uh, 20 megabytes up, and in practice, we only had about 10, but that's still more than we needed. Here, we have... Depending on the 30 second period where you're testing, we can either have um, like 60 up or 4. And that means our Wi Fi is much more inconsistent. Okay. So while that bread proofs, I'm going to go ahead and start on the cheese sauce. Paper towels. I was. I was looking for paper towels. And you're going to do this over on this stove? Yeah. I did contemplate getting out the induction burner, uh, but. Probably not worth it. I'm just trying to see if I can get the audio equipment over uh, there. Well, I have to get in the fridge. Oh, well, damn it. <laughs> I thought you had all the cheese out. No, I just well, got the grated cheese that I needed. Well, so me. Because mm. I think we might be able to run the camera over to right here, but we'll see. 
We'll see. Means that Haley will be sort of like locked into a corner, but. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna try and get up out everything I need before that happens. Yeah, I know. We could definitely mount things in our kitchen. It's just I don't know if we want to mount things in our kitchen. That is yet to be decided. <laughs> like, if I'm completely honest, if we were going to mount stuff in our kitchen... Here, while Haley's doing that, I will just talk to chat. If we are going to mount stuff in our kitchen, my big thing I would probably try and do is honestly make it so that we could run all of this from my computer. But that would also mean having to mount a whole bunch of things with, like, wireless HDMI. Which... I guess we could probably run everything through GoPros, but GoPros are fucking expensive. I'm curious now, how much is a GoPro? <laughs> uh, how much is a GoPro? Because we need at least, like, two. Because we need to do one for above the stovetop. We need to do one for over here. Because there's no way this computer can handle the inputs of a gro GoPro, much less more than one. Yeah. Hot. Oh, I do. Okay, no. Okay, sorry, that's not... That's an actual GoPro. Off-brand GoPro is like 80 bucks, okay. What's an actual GoPro? <laughs> Almost 400. But yeah, that's not happening. But yeah, we could probably like um, do um, magnetic mounting of one like here-ish or from the microwave. Yeah, we could do everything through an IP switch, yeah. Um, or get do everything over IP and get run it through a gigabyte switch. Um, but that's still... I'm pretty sure that would require having uh, a hardline connection to our thingamahoozit. Our modem. Which is way back there. Sorry. Around that corner. Which I'm less helpful less hopeful for, but yeah, maybe. It's one of the things, Alfcat, that since you apparently have experience with, I should probably poke you about at some point. Um, but it's definitely I'm gonna say right now, it's probably gonna be a lower priority. <laughs> yeah. Unless like what were you gonna this say? This is not my gig. What were you going to say? I said unless like this becomes a really big thing. For us. Yeah, if this were to become a much bigger thing, then yes, we would probably put more monetary effort into it. But that Aren't would still I... be more than we'd probably be getting out of it. But we'll see. Did you use our big list? No, it's in the thing. But yeah, one long Ethernet cord could probably like run from the office, um, just against the like baseboard. Yeah, and run it up into here somewhere. That was the other thing. I've also been um, going around and trying. Can I use beer? You can. We don't really have a good beer for it though. No, no. none of the ones you bought are good for it. Probably not. Maybe the amber ale, but that's about it. Leviscott27, welcome to the lair. Thank you very much for that follow, friend. Hello and welcome. Just a warning, this is not actually a normal stream. I, well, in the, it's a thing that we're going to do at least twice a month, but hopefully more. We'll see. Yeah. But just a warning, this is actually a variety channel. This is just one of the things we do that is part of the variety. Also, <laughs> I am temporary. I am the wife of the You're primary streamer. Well, I mean, the person who's mostly on camera would be the man behind the camera. Yeah, but I'm not going to turn it right now. Nah, 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 nah. This is you. Yes, but you've already turned it once. Yeah. Okay, well, I think I have everything I need out of the fridge. So okay. if you want to run stuff. Yeah. I do like that we are slowly, I would like to say, becoming friends with a lar large number of people who are good at a weird variety of things between, like, Alcat has knowledge of uh, network systems and things, and <laughs> goodbye. Thank you for grabbing it. Sorry, habit of kitchen. That's with, with knives. Yes, with my general reaction. Everything else in a kitchen is fine to grab. It's just knives you don't grab. And Odin's son, and just general. 
glorious furniture making. Here. Now you have the mic and the camera right near you. Yay. Except I can't leave now because I set them up like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can crawl. Yeah, I'm okay with not doing that. <laughs> All right. So I'm just melting, so we're starting the beginnings of a roux, so I'm melting my fat over a lower heat. Um, while that works, I'm going to check on the garlic I have in the oven. Yeah. It's going to take significantly more for <laughs> divorce excuses than that, I promise you. Right. Haley is not reading chat. Yeah, that's because I'm trying to do the thing and the stuff, and I think that's probably good, so okay. we're going to let that be. Okay. No, that is not true. Hiding. Alicat's also hiding. No, no, that was Alicat. No, it was Peggy. No. Yeah. Oh, not like your knowledge matters much. Oh, I missed that part. Yeah. Yeah, no, Peggy. I was like, no. <laughs> it's more that Alifcad has uh, shown that he's been here since we started, basically. Yeah. Um, so it's more that I don't feel as bad asking him stupid questions. Whereas if people who are a little bit newer, I'd be like, Peggy, this is a really stupid question. I know it's a stupid question, but I need to ask someone... <laughs> And I would feel really dumb about that. So I added in the flour, came to this kind of paste consistency for the roux, um, and then I'm gonna let this cook, turn my heat up just a touch to more of a medium, medium high. Um, so I'm gonna let that cook for a minute. Because I still want it to be a blonde roux, because I'm really just using it for, I'm using it for thickening, um, but I don't necessarily, I was going to try and see if it was going to work. I already tried. Okay. Um, but I don't necessarily, because the lighter a roux is, the better strength in, or thickening power it has. So basically, the more you cook it, the more you darken it, the more you weaken its strengthening power. So I don't want to do that too much, but I just want to cook some of that flour flavor out. Also, you want to cook flour because flour is a raw ingredient. By good, I mean bad. Don't eat raw flour. Raw flour bad, got it. Yes. Why is raw flour bad? Because flour is an agricultural product, and it's minimally processed. So pretty much what's happening is it's out in the field, and things shit in fields. <laughs> <laughs> and that can cause E. coli, salmonella, a lot of other bacterial microbio issues. Um, because weed is not cleaned as in like sanitized or put through any sort of process like that. Um, weed is cleaned in the fact of... What she means is wheat, not weed. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, wheat <laughs> is cleaned um, in the fact of its hole is removed. You can take all the grassy parts out of it. Um, but... Beyond that, it's just, it's, that happens, and it's milled, and then it's bagged. So, there is risk for foodborne illness. Um, so, yeah, don't, don't do that. Don't eat raw flour. Because you don't, you don't know. Trust me, I love raw cookie dough as much as the next person. And it's almost painful not to. Take the flour first? Yes! No, 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 like bake the flour on its own? No, then you're gonna do weird things to the flour, I think. Or you could use heat treated flour. Which, I mean, you're doing the same thing, but it would just have to be minimally processed. I'm just gonna eat cookie dough anyway. I can't even tell if I'm on camera. I hope I was. Okay, so I think this is cooked enough because it's pretty much the same consistency. And it smells cooked a nice indicator for this kind of stuff is it smells cooked. Um, so I am actually going to do this as a beer cheese sauce. Um, so I'm going to use this amber ale that we bought earlier today. Just because more often than not, so it's not actually bechamel, it's kind of bechamel, but not. Um, 
your thing, but I can make it into comedy bit. Judging the poor sad doglet. Why would you judge him? Because he's a poor sad doglet. Yeah, that, I feel like that would connotate less judging. Also because there's this poor sad doglet over here too. That's perfect, you can see everything from this angle. Time. Haley, you know the kind of beer that you want for that? What? Coors. Oh. That's why whenever you ask me what kind of beer you want, it's not one that we have. You want something that has a very minor beer flavor, pretty much nothing else to it. Just me? There's sort of an aftertaste, but not much. Mm. I think if I put more cheese in it, it'll be better. Probably, yeah. Yes. Fuck you. You didn't go offline. Or should you connect me with randomly drops? Also, Alec, that's been a bad, ha bad influence, because now I'm just sitting over in this weird corner, looking at gigabyte bridges. <laughs> Way to go, Alec, cat. Yeah. Because they're not terribly expensive. Yeah, so a lot of the cheese sauce is personal preference. is all the garlic. Yeah, kinda. That's hot. Also, I should wear gloves because I'm just gonna smell garlic my nose forever. So I will warn you, chat, that 
more often than not during cooking screens, if we're doing garlic or onions or something, I will be wearing gloves. And that's not because I don't like it, it's just because I'll be able to smell it on my hands all day and then that'll give me a migraine. So yay! Hmm. So just explaining my weird ass possible habits. Turn that on super low. Exactly, yay for not getting migraines. Yeah. So, anyway. So you've that seen. also works on the dork, but it's a little bit more of a. She's trying to avoid it instead of actually dealing with it at all. Um, I'm dark saying the thing about washing with uh, stainless steel. Oh, yeah. Yes, I totally get that, but I also just prefer to avoid, like Chap said. So I'm basically just taking the cloves out of the head and smushing them and putting them in the sauce. So I've taken probably about four cloves in general and done that. <laughs> that was good use of the spoon quote. Nice eye of the door. So yeah, now I'm looking at a uh, mount or cameras that I can turn for mounts that have uh, Ethernet connections in uh, uh, the, the gigabyte switch because damn it, Alice Cat, this is your fault. No, you go, Alice Cat. Mm -hmm. You're not seeing the prices of these sort of things. Unfortunately, that audio won't come through because it's going through my computer because that's where the box is running. So I know you can't see it super well, but look at our dough! Look at it go! Where is it? Oh, okay. It's doing so good right now. Also, when the pan's on the stove, you want your sauce to be a little thinner. If it's got a roux in it, you want it to be a little thinner than you think you need because over time it will thicken. So this beer just kind of doesn't want to melt all the way. That's where you strip your in batches. I remember things. Yeah, it's still got a little bit of a bitter aftertaste, but I think the bitterness will be offset by uh, the, the pretzels. Agreed. Did I put a little mustard in it? Oh, maybe a little bit, yeah. And Dijon? Which one? Uh, what do we have? We've got the Dijon honey mustard, which mm -hmm. might work. Um, we've got plain Dijon. Let's just do plain Dijon. Okay. So I'm probably going to put about a teaspoon of Dijon in here. Dijon just does nice things to cheese sauces. If it helps, I'm the dork. I could hear the computer doing the, do you need a hug? Uh, audio. And 
and there's not any pepper in there right now. Yeah. So this is true on the fly cooking right now. <laughs> because we came in with no plan. I mean, I had a basic plan. Limited plan. Sure. <laughs> so I'm adding some onion powder right now. Um, I think a little cheddar will just totally fuck this thing up. Have you not put cheddar in yet? I've not put cheddar in yet. Oh no, I think cheddar will just keep helping. Yeah, this is one of those weird cases where honestly I think the more flavors you add in are going to help. I would say don't add more cheddar than that all at once. I was going to put in a little spice here. Okay. Since we've already had issues with not all the cheese melting. I know you guys can't see my face. I'll have a stare at the camera, not me. <laughs> I don't have anything for you, babe. <laughs> but you called me. Why did you call me? You didn't have stuff for me. Because fate's a cruel bitch. Get it here first, Haley's me. <laughs> what? It's not like they've ever heard it anywhere else before. shit in our goddamn kitchen, right? Sure. I mean, he did make this all possible, but anyway. That is true. That is very true. Oh, Kat, you were dearly loved. <laughs> Promise. Don't listen to what Cap says. I love you anyway. It, I didn't want to blame him and also like him. Just looks like I'm gonna spend money on a silly thing. Silly? Yeah, that is silly. Cat says thank you. Aww. Sorry, Chad, I'm preoccupied, so I can't see chat right now. So Cap is chat chat liaison. Oh no, that was um uh Miriam sung the Oh, Scaredy Cap song? The Scaredy Cap song, yeah. yeah. I can't carry a tune, so I'm no. actually going to get Miriam to re-record it when she's over tonight. Oh, yeah? Um, because she... Did I tell you that we lost the original recording? No! Yeah, I think I deleted it when I was doing a purge of all of our old files. Mm -hmm. And I got her to re-record it over Discord. Ah. So it was not the best. <laughs> hey, I'm to Miss Prime. Yeah. Um, Hello! Olive here in chat actually was the first person to hit a, or help us hit a certain goal on Patreon uh, that means trying to run cooking streams again. So this is our first test of doing it. Yes. Uh, complete with Olive Cat giving me expensive ideas about how to do it better next time. Because <laughs> we really do enjoy this. It was decent quality considering it was it was recorded over Discord and the fact that Miriam was doing it in like the workplace bathroom. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna get oh, her to re-record it again. I didn't know she was in the bathroom. I was just like, no, no, no. Even if you're just like upstairs in the bake lab, it'll be fine. Um, but I was just like, uh, I need this re-recorded. I'm so sorry. I would say more cheddar. I think we're good on everything else, just more cheddar. Yeah, I added a little paprika in as well.
after this, we should be good to go on the cheese sauce. Um, oh, chat, do you have me as a friend on Discord? Because if so, I would honestly just kind of like to talk to you about it. Um, actually, there's the, the channels on the Discord that are empty enough right now that we can use in the Patreon section, because I can't remember if we're friends or not. But still, I would very much love to hear your advice and ideas about it. Because turns out this is fun to do. This is so much fun. Yeah, I kind of forgot. It's one of those <laughs> things where it's, it's like the opposite of streaming when... If I'm not streaming, like when we're out of town or anything, I'm sitting around going, I want to be streaming. And then when we stream, I remember like, oh right, there are little things about this that annoy me. But in this case, because it's been so long since we've done this, I'm just going, oh, I miss this. But yeah, I would basically take anyone's input for other ways, to, especially for doing like um, ways to run this from a computer in a different room, because the other computer's so much better. And because then it means we wouldn't have to deal with the weird, goofy HP. I think the only big issue would probably be audio, but some of those cameras... Ooh, yeah, that's good. There we go. We did it. There we go. Um, but I know some of those cameras can run audio as well. I just wouldn't know whether or not I'd trust their uh, audio or not without hearing it. Cool. All right. So we have a shit ton of cheese sauce now. Awesome. Well, considering that every time we make these damn things, we run out of cheese sauce and pretzels, this just means we can dip other things into the cheese sauce. Yeah. Because unless I make another batch, like, we're going to run out of pretzels. Oh, well. We have a uh, crudite flatter and things that we can dip into cheese sauce. Are you done with the cheese sauce? Do you want me to move the camera back over here? Uh, one second. Okay. Yeah, because this hasn't had its full... For another 20 minutes. So I might actually, yes, I am done with cheese sauce. We will move everything back. I might make, I might start a second job. Okay. Here. Which means that I can run away for a little bit. You can be free. I'm free. Free. There's a Dobby joke in here somewhere that I'm not braining enough to make. <sighs> this is my excuse because I didn't take a day off this week. So I'm going to stick with that as my excuse is that I can't brain. Don't be. Shh. It's good enough for me. Let's not put beer on the edge. <laughs> yeah, that's probably. We've done that once today and that ended really bad. Ah! Sorry, Alcat, you scared me there. Uh, he sent me a message on Discord that was just boo! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna cover that in foil and then we'll come back in. I wasn't going for a Pokemon joke, but that works. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm finished, Brian. I feel like that that episode has sort of lost some of its punch for me over the years. So I'll let these finish. We're gonna do another round of um Ah. Ah. Brain. Too young to be having these issues. Seriously. Okay. It was stupid Butterfree and Crystal. It was just a placeholder until it wasn't. Oh no! <laughs> 
Was it at least a shiny Butterfree? Like, I like bug types, but bug types are so bad in the first couple gens. They're just awful. They're just actual garbage. And here, since Haley's hiding from the camera. I am getting water, okay? Mm -hmm. Standard old Butterfree. I mean, I guess it could be worse. It could be a Beedrill with no bug type attacks and no poison type attacks. Ah! Alright, so that was a cup and a half. For those of you who may or may not have missed the pretzel recipe earlier, um, that was a cup and a half of water. That's 110 degrees Fahrenheit. Because we're horrible American monsters. Well, I use grams when I can. Um, tablespoon of sugar. And then we're going to do two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. Sorry. Mark just said you didn't stop it. <laughs> Also, I love that the bot did actually post in chat. It just took forever. Okay, so two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. We'll leave that to rise for a little bit. Ooh, that would have been cool. What? Alolan versions of uh, Butterfree and Beedrill. Oh. I don't know what an Alolan Beedrill would be. Because, like, uh, paradoxically, a lot of the Alolan Pokemon are actually sort of correlations to the fact that Hawaii's weird... Um, in that there's a lot of things on Hawaii that are actually um, weirdly bastardized versions of other living creatures. They also are one of the only, actually I believe they're the only American state that does not have rabies because it was not naturally occurring on their island and they've been pretty good about not letting things that can, uh, that have rabies come to the island. Also, because they're on an island and rabies makes um, anything that has it, oh, what's it called? The, the phobia of water. Um, it makes them afraid of water so that they don't, don't go near it. Okay. So that's another pound and six ounces of... Um... Hydrophobic. Thank you, Elfcat. Became oh, clutch at, during an oddly difficult gym battle. And was suddenly like, shit, guess you're on the team now. So it's a pound, six ounces of flour, and then two teaspoons of salt. Yeah, there aren't a ton of rabies-free places, but island nations and uh, island states tend to be one of the only places that are. Okay. And I also need two ounces of butter. And I'll have to melt that. Three quarters. One and seven eighths. <laughs> <laughs> Two, okay. That was a little ridiculous. If you ask me. Alright. Oh, really? I didn't realize that the UK was a rabies free place. I don't know why in my head I vaguely associate it with the fact that y'all have, um, uh, I'm trying to nim remember the acronym for it, but the acronym for, uh, the not mad cow, but the other one, the other spongiform enc encephalop encephalopathy. And for some reason that in my head is related vaguely to rabies, I guess. I don't know why. Oh, you 
you've never seen... Right, I forgot that you were come. You came to Pokemon Super Late. Right. Also, yeah, Haley, I don't believe you've... Um, I think you have not been around when Unctimus Prime has been around. They joined us a couple of days ago. Hi! No, I probably haven't. Okay. Um, CJD, so thank you! God damn it, Elfcat, I was trying to remember that stupid name. Or acronym. So, if you don't know, I'm Cap's wife. Um... I do things around the house. Oh, look! No. Hi. Sorry, I forgot you can't see chat. Yes, I can't see chat. No, thank you. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Cap's wife, I work full-time, which is part of the reason I'm not here, and I work downtown. So that means I have, like, a commute, like an hour commute. Um, so I'm very often, unless Cap's running late or a late-night stream, I don't make it to stream. But if you ever see me in streams, I'm Hailstorm. Um... Technically 3028, but I haven't seen any other hailstorms hanging around, so what's up with me? I mean, we can see if you can just change it and cut the off. I think there's a reason I did it like that. Okay. Like, there may be a hailstorm somewhere in the world. Not in our part of the world. I don't know. So, then we add our lovely flour and salt. And then our melted butter. And Cap, do you want to take the mic? Oh, yes. I'll back this away from the mixer <laughs> before everyone goes deaf. Oh, God. Alright. So we're just going to mix this on a low speed to start. Um, kind of just until everything comes together. And then we will um, crank it up and kind of let the mixer mix. The dog's back to staring again. <laughs> okay. But yeah, so we're doing kind of a belated party thing today. Um, so that's part of why we're doing the 13th stream is because uh, we're making stuff for that. I mean, it's just pretzel twists and cheese sauce, but... Um, we're doing that, and then also we, um, wow, brain. You can do it, love. <laughs> no, Aleph Cat's just weird and doesn't understand time. No, that's just his thing. Also, he likes making me real, uh, very concerned that I've forgotten that, what day it is. Because it uh, turns out that uh, if you don't actually take a day off every week, um, it's very hard to keep track of what fucking day it is. So I'm moving the mic back farther so you're hopefully not deafened by the awful uh, mixer. An old baroon mix, it's like 35 years old, even older. That machine is loud. Yeah, this is a slightly older KitchenAid model. Like, this is after they figured out that cream and white are different colors. Yeah. But that's about the only big distinction I can recall. <clears throat> and it's also the smaller. So yeah. this is the tilt head version versus the drop head version. I still admit that I like the tilt head better, but... I think they could be better bowl access. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, unseen for you guys, but seen by me, one of our dogs likes to sit on the back of the chairs. And you can see him right through there. <laughs> He's just sleeping on the back of the chair. Oh, now he's awake. Oh, he's really we, spoke, we spoke of him, so now he must awaken. Yeah, so... That's pretty much... You know, he usually sits in here in the kitchen with me, but it's all over today. So, we have some lovely lunches. Um, 
Oh, wow, that is old, Peggy. It's an old egg beater style mixer. The bowl just turns to the middle. Oh, it's one of those ones that isn't really actually a stand mixer. It's actually just a... It's not a planetary stand. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you were talking about this, Mr. Peggy. I'm like, oh, this is standard. Like, the bowl doesn't turn. Unless you're an idiot, like, don't get the bowl on right the first time, and then you turn it on, and then the bowl starts turning because it's not in place. That shit's scary. I've done that to myself once or twice where I've, like, turned... I've not put this bowl in correctly, and so it's not set in the grooves. So I turned the mixer on, and the bowl started spinning, so I panicked. And on KitchenAid... You have to push back to turn it off. And I pulled forward, so I turned it on high, so a bunch of shit just came flying out of the bowl. It was terrible. But yeah, there was. Ugh. I, was co I think. I can't remember what we were doing, but I was definitely covered in like flour and all sorts of stuff. No way. Bueno. So I'm talking with Alice Cat, and the. So far, the, the consensus that both he and I have agreed on is that, um, like, security camera style ones, and that... Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know that. I'm just speaking because it's one of those things where, you know, this bolt is not supposed to turn, but I've had it where I've... If you don't lock it down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but talking with that all cat, where it's like, um, we can probably set it up to run like those security camera ones using power over ethernet to like have relatively few cables but it means we need to find a place to install the switch um and then probably like one camera somewhere here to capture the island mm -hmm. um oh, this feels so much better than the last yay one. probably one either on the oh since i'm putting here one on the side of the refrigerator, depending on how it hooks up, or maybe um, on the back stone wall, but not sure. Okay. Maybe one over the sink, but I don't know. Okay. No gluten window? No, not even close. So do you want to keep working it or what? Yeah. L lied to you and made you think it was ready? Yeah, it did. Alephcat, I can hear every time you message mm. Steven. Yeah, the 50 meters isn't the part that I'm super worried about. Or the uh, the distance isn't what I'm super worried about. Because <clears throat> pretty sure 50 meters you could get anywhere around our house with that. It's, it's mostly just at this point that I've never used... Um, IP cameras versus USB plugged directly into a PC, so I don't know how to work them on OBS, but I know you can. Yeah. Also, what's with, like, the percentage on your bit boxes now? Um, it's, uh... Your stream boxes. Like, why is it... I like... don't... It's being broken, and I don't know why. Ah, okay. Um... It's not supposed to max out at 100%, but the numbers are bizarre. I think there's an implied, um, uh, the, 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 <laughs> I believe there's an implied, um, decimal, okay. but that it's not showing up for some reason, and I don't know how to make it show up. Gotcha. Well, hopefully you can find something to satisfy your hunger. Sorry for making you hungry. <laughs> Okay, Alephcat, if you're still, like, listening. Oh, there is a Discord, yes. Um, hang on just a yes. second. Yes, Discord. Um, do, 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 while I try and type without looking at the keyboard, so well. Oh my god, why can't I spell? There we go. Um, Alephcat, um, it looks like it's actually not that hard to do IP cameras over wind, or over, uh, OBS. 
Um, in fact, it's actually easier than doing a m normal camera, it looks like. Okay, so, TV magic, not on purpose, <laughs> but TV magic. Um, so this dough ball was in here a little while ago. This is proofed. Um, so you can see now the gas is going out, but you can see it's doubled in size roughly. So we're going to switch these suckers out. Um, and let this guy proof. Scoop these cables out of the way. Yes, that would be very helpful. So yeah, it looks like the only thing that we might not be able to run that way is audio. But yeah, so um, for anyone who's not familiar with OBS, the way that, say, we do like our uh, notifications um, is through um, a URL source, which is to say that um, like the follower goal up top is a URL source that is pointed at a specific URL where this thing is working properly as intended. Um, with IP cameras, it looks like you actually just give them... Uh, the IP address, and depending on the camera, you give them a different IP address, or give them extra information on that IP address to define the uh, aspect ratio and the, what's it called, that they're using. Uh, the, the, the video co codec that they're using. So it should actually be super easy. To the degree that if we had um, a better wireless network here, we could do it entirely over wireless, too. Which is nice, but... Eh. Alright, so I'm just dividing these out into... Ooh, that is a good idea. We could do audio over Bluetooth headset. Yeah. Um, I'm just dividing these out into two ounce portions. And then I'll shape them in just a second. Elfcat is very good at full of good tech tech ideas. Um, in theory, I think I know my PC has a Bluetooth uh, system, but it's garbage. So we'd probably have to work on that. But yeah, where was TMNT the next mutation? Which one is the next mutate? I'm gonna have to look this up, aren't I? I'm doing these kind of plus or minus an eighth of an ounce because... Was that the second or third Ooh, movie? Oh, honey. I need you to get water on for me. Oh. What, um, how hot? Boiling. Oh, like that water. Okay. Yeah. So, part of the thing about pretzels... Um, Excuse me? And the ratio is ten cups of water to two-thirds of a cup of baking soda. So, if you want to do like half that... So five cups and a one third. Cup, yeah. So part of the whole pretzel brownness thing, um, that comes from traditionally lye is used, um, like a lye solution is used on the um, on the dough on the top of the dough um, for that reaction um, to get it really dark and really golden. And all these kinds of wonderful yummy things about pretzels. However, lye's dangerous and shit. So, um, the next best thing to do is use baking soda. So, pretty much what you do is you get water and baking soda together, you boil it, and then you have the pretzels in the boiling water solution for um, 30 seconds. So, that way you can get that really lovely kind of golden brown, all that good deliciousness. Very similar to what you do for bagels. Yeah, except bagels, there's no, uh, uh, no baking, soda. baking soda. So specifically, it's the um, alkaline nature of baking, baking soda. soda that does it. Yeah, so now we're going to go ahead and roll these out into twists. Um, so correct me if I'm wrong, but the way it works effectively is that 
um, alkalines as opposed to acids actually denature proteins. Yeah. So you put it into what the hell is that? Is that a third? That would be, I think, our half cup. Okay. Um, that's an eighth. That's a fourth. Is that a third? There we go. Um, so you preemptively basically denature the proteins on the external part of the pretzel, causing them to brown much more quickly when you cook them, which also denatures them. So, these are super tight, so I'm not going to get much twisty out of these. Um, again, I think that's due to the under-mixing that happened in the first batch. Um, but, pretty much your idea is to roll these out. You're like in probably six to eight inches, roughly. Um, and then take them. So, between your first your thumb and your first three fingers wrap around, come in front and cross, then move your fingers, continue to hold it, and then tuck it underneath. Ta-da! Oh. Twisty bit! Um, I will look at that link in a minute, Alfgat. I'm working on this thing now. Yeah, he's helping me. Sorry, Alfgat. And in comes the cat to be chewed on by the dog. Nope, he's helpful like that. Except the cat just doesn't give a shit. No. He's a durable cat. Oh. Where's the slot of spoon? Oh, that's not a slot of spoon. But, yeah, Alf Cat also, like, speaking of Bluetooth dongles, um, I have been using those for my iPod Classic. That's on the transceiver, but okay. No, it's a trans. Mid Sorry, it's a no. It's both. It is both. It's both. Oh shit, that might actually work then. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I have, so I have my iPod Classic, and that's got all of my audiobooks on it, and I really wanted to be able to use Bluetooth headphones with it. So I actually have been looking into and getting um, Bluetooth. I've tried a couple different trans and receiver combos. But yeah, I don't know which one it is that you looked up, but... Yeah. It's just, I think mine has like a built-in thing somewhere on... Well, not built-in, but a thing attached to the motherboard, and it's just garbage. So, I don't trust it for anything. Um, the movement of the TMT suits is hilariously awful, and that's... Wait, so was it a series or was it a movie? Because it looks like the, the suits from the early movies. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's a series. Okay. But it looks like the same suits as the movies. Maybe. Okay, some of them look worse, actually. But that might just be this weird cover image. And Alifcat continues to confuse people with what goddamn day it is. Why? Because... Because Unctimus Prime came into the Discord as well, and Alifcat greeted him with Merry Tuesday. It's not Tuesday. But it's Tuesday in Alifcat's world. No, it's not. Pretty sure it's not even Wednesday in Alifcat's world. Or, uh, Sunday. Fuck me. Days. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it had to be his reality. I'm still pretty sure that Alfcat lives in reality. Exactly. Exactly, Peggy. Thank don't, you. Don't encourage him. I will encourage I him my... all I want. There's my beer. Oh, Cap lost his beer. I did. It was behind the computer. Oh, right. Didn't they add a teenage something in, uh... Why do you keep putting this in front of the camera? Uh, in... 
the unset, that's the word. Wait, later what? Now I'm confused! What have I done? Now he's got Unctimus Prime doing it in the Discord. Yes! I love that when I have the, the phone open, the Discord doesn't ping. But as soon as I uh, put my phone on sleep mode, the Discord on the PC still pings. Also, I just love encouraging chaos in here because I can. That is perfectly fair, Peggy. Which, um, one of these days I'm going to break and end up trying that damn game again. Because I played it when it was in early access, but you. it's free. Don't worry. Do you have the baking soda already? Yeah. Okay. We just couldn't tell. Yeah, I did. So while you're helping, do you also want to grab two pans? Oh, she cans? Yeah, and parchment line them yeah. for me. Here. That would be swell. We really should get those sheets of parchment. So that we can be significantly more lazy. <laughs> well, it's also more efficient and less wasteful. So... I don't know if this is a thing outside the states, but in the states, the primary way you get parchment paper is like right above. in a roll. It's like rolls that you roll out and then tear on the awful little bladed things. However, in a professional kitchen, you almost exclusively have pre-measured sheets that just fit exactly on a full sheet pan or a half sheet pan. Well, if you cut them in half, they fit on. A half. No, there they made. Half ones. I know they did. Well, yes, they also make half ones, but most professional kitchens wouldn't have that. Okay, well, we have it. Yeah. Well, you also don't make full-size batches of everything. True. Um, and you can get them in a non-professional environment, but they're a pain. Like, why Why is this the default? Limited space? I don't know. It doesn't change the space allocation. You yes. can still roll them up. So yeah, pre-measured sheets are amazing. They make your life better, they're just, oh, they're great. Especially since we actually just have legitimate half sheet trays. Yeah. I mean, admittedly, a fair amount of them are stolen, but, nah. I'm shocked. I thought you stole some of them. No. Oh. Then a smaller number are stolen than I thought. <laughs> Wait, you totally stole one of these. No, I didn't. Yes, because you left with one of them from that camp. You and I left with, like, two of them from that camp. Did we? Yeah, we did. I don't remember that. I'm in a room less to sit so I can read chat. Alright, last one. Oh, Legions was released in January in February 03, so it is 15, so it is a teenager. Okay. So in a couple more years we'll have to deal it with deal with it being an adult? That seems concerning. Okay. Spider? I thought we had a spider. Oh. I was trying to find a slotted spoon. I think it's in the dishwasher. We'll use this one. Okay. Yeah, we should probably get a spider then. Okay, chat. Just a warning. I'm going to move y'all. Sorry, chat. I mean, maybe not sorry, it means that they get to see something more interesting, but just a warning. Hi, Jet, you're coming with me. Right over here. 
so that we can actually see what the hell Haley is doing. Okay. Um, basically, this is our baking soda solution. I wasn't um, sure how high you wanted it, so uh, I turned it down after it hit a rolling boil. Uh, always put it in. Sorry. There's, they, did you? Okay. Alright, so 30 seconds. These go on the sheet pan. Stop stabbing me. Heck. <laughs> Sorry, Unctimus. That wasn't even the oven. That was the, uh, no, that's the microwave. microwave, which is also probably due for an upgrade at some point. If for no other reason than because I need to get it the light because it doesn't come on consistently. Yeah. And we're not sure why. So, meh. Uh, no, but Lauren is, turns 13 in February 2020, so changelings get the update. Oh, for God's sake. So, wait. What What year... When does uh, Mistform Ultimus stop being a teenager, then? In... You're asking about magic? Yeah. Uh, I hate math. What did you say? 20, 2003? So in... 2021? 2021 or 2022, it stops to be pretzels. <laughs> that was the other reason why I turned it down. That's valid. I'm used to having a bigger pot, okay? Well, you use the bigger pot. Now I'm going to pretzel kitchen. I thought there were only three in there. Nope. Oh, well, shit. Move it off the heat. That makes way too much sense. Well, shut up, I'm a dork, I can't do math. Oh, good, my perfectly clean stove top. <laughs> Chat, look at it, it's filthy. It's filthy! She tolerates me at best. I need to get to the fridge. She tolerates me at best. Yeah, nope, now I'm really looking forward to these stupid cameras. Fuck. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so oh, okay. Stay. This is gonna be so expensive, but it's gonna be your fault. And Elcat's fault. It's fine. I love you I'm the one who brings in a large portion of the household funds, so. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I feel guilty about doing it. Yes, but that means I get to do more of this. True. So, I'm cool with it. I, you're not an alibi. You are the exact opposite of an alibi. Chat. I question whether or not any of you know what the hell an alibi is. That is also true, Alephcat. That is very true. What? That Alephcat is literally paying for it to happen. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it's one of those catch 22s where having the money to do it is uh like important in that having the money to like buy the ingredients is important but then if we're gonna do it we should also make it good so yay catch 22 of it's expensive to do and also expensive to make it happen the way we want it to happen so might as well fucking say damn it and do it Or 
also going to do an, or we are going to do an egg wash on these suckers. That is true. The cameras are a one-off expense. I'm, I'm kind of tempted. Yeah, that's <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to see whether or not our network can handle um, doing them wireless. So, like, test with one. If it can't, then return it, and then commit to doing the switch and everything. So, this is just one egg. One egg and a little bit of water. Just to thin it out. Mock our poor brush. Shut up, Alf Cat. I know it can't, but I was gonna hope. Yeah, uh, mostly just dried in funky positions. So. That's part of the problem here. I'm extra annoyed because there's actually places near us, but not close enough to us, that have, um, full uh, fiber optic gigabit connections as like just one of their options like uh, Jillian Blake have that and a f over in Parker I want to say there's a company that is slowly hoping to spread into Aurora where we live that's doing uh, fiber connections as well because it's one of those fun places where technically the city has already paid for and has developed a whole bunch of well that's the thing Alfcat is we wouldn't actually need the four cameras to be running at once we'd be uh, running them individually but I'm not sh that's the part that I wouldn't be sure about because um, as security cameras they they would have to be streaming at all times. Um, but that's the thing is, sorry, um, Peggy, part of this is discussions I had with Alfcat just on Discord, um, where we're thinking like three or four max, because we want one, maybe two to cover the island that this is all happening on. Um, one over there to handle the cooktop. Maybe one over the sink. I don't remember, remember where I thought the fourth one was going to be, if I'm completely honest. How is this the bad part of pretzels? We're just putting delicious, delicious sea salt on them. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Salt isn't bad for you. Your body actually needs sodium to run. Yeah, your body needs sodium, and if you drink uh, healthy amounts of water, Anything like salt and vitamin C can be filtered out of your body, so it's not actually bad for you. Assuming you have a single working kidney. If your kidneys are uh, having issues, then yeah, you should probably watch your sodium salt intake. intake. Oh, you're salt uh, sensitive? Okay. Well, you can also do these with less salt. Yeah, you can definitely do them with no salt on top. Yeah. I mean, hell, because we're going to be dipping them in the cheese sauce. You probably don't. You probably don't need the salt, but at the same time, it's just not as good without the salt, which makes me sad. <laughs> Sodium and chlorine are both lethal, but great once they are combined. So, I don't think sodium is strictly speaking lethal so much as it fucking combusts when it contacts water. Like, I know chlorine is directly lethal, but... Sodium as a raw ingredient isn't, like, it's not poisonous, is it? I don't know. Because I know it's one of those things like, um, vitamin A is... Also, I need you guys to see. Mm -hmm. So this is where Cosmos sits when we cook. <laughs> like, that's just where he hangs out while I'm in here cooking. Cosmos, they hide you chat. Well, see, Alfcat, I wouldn't say it's, like, lethal if you found a way, like, once, if sodium was just in your body, it's fine, because we have a way to process raw sodium, or sorry, we have a way to break things down into raw sodium and then contain it in a non-lethal way, but putting raw sodium in your mouth means that your mouth would explode because it's raw sodium and it combusts on contact with water. I'm just pulling this apart so I can clean it, that's all. 
Okay, well then, instead, I'll give chat this wonderful view. That might be the other place where we would need a camera. Oh, is that Cosmo? That's Cosmo and Calcifer. <laughs> Hi, babies. Hello, Cosmo. Haley, I'm doing this as a distraction while you get stuff done. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> Was also apparently a distraction for Haley. <laughs> Damn, I'm doing this as a distraction for you and I can't get this full one done. Pardon me, let me just mic. Can't tell if it's picking it up or not, but they're making some very silly noises. Haley! <laughs> I can't get the bowl on them. This is just our break screen now. <laughs> Dihydrogen monoxide poisonous? It's corrosive. There's a difference. There's a very big difference. Oh, for God's sake. I can't get the full one done. I'm sorry. You go point the camera at the adorable animals. Okay. That's good. Here. Now you've scared them. you do to this poor bowl? There you go. God forbid we just use the good one. Just use the good one. <laughs> Too much can kill you, but that's not poisonous. Poisonous is if you drink something of any amount it kills you. Or eat something. Hi, chat. See, this is why I kept the camera on them, because they were being adorable as soon as you looked away. Cosmo! <laughs> it's like, yes, snacks. I love snacks. Come in here, snacks. Come in here. Cosmo, say hi to chat. It's chat right there. Cosmo, do you like chat? Are you gonna give chat kisses? No, that's Haley kisses. What about chat? Does chat give kisses? Do you want him to lick the camera? Yeah, I think it'd be funny. Kisses. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go on, Cosmo. <laughs> Here too. Uh, you're, you're not doing anything. There's the poor sad Oliver. The one who's just like, why am I being held? What's going on? I live in ex endless terror. Just endless terror. <laughs> I know exactly what you're doing. Go on. Yes. Yes. Go. Oh, shoot. You go do whatever the hell it is that you're apparently antsy to go do. They're not done yet. You just put them in. Put them in five minutes ago. I feel like I'm the dork is making a Gears of War reference. I would know nothing about that. I only vaguely remember it. No. I would know. Stop chasing the cat away so that I can get a good picture of him. Nah. 
Oh, there's some dough. Remember where that for all is. <laughs> so are we just waiting on the Bless you, cat. Also, our cat has the sniffles. So we're the waiting fucking sniffles. It's very cute. So we're waiting on the first round to bake. We're waiting on the second round to proof. Yes. So I don't think we necessarily need to show the second round baking. No. Yeah. Um, okay, you just met Earth. Okay. Um, yes, everyone who's ever consumed dihydrogen monoxide has died. That is true. Or will die, or is dying. I, I, don't, I just feel like it's weird for a cat to have the sniffles. It's, Haley, the cat has a cold. That's, that's it. All, almost every animal can have their own weird version of the cold. Oh, you're hiding me just off camera, you sneaky little bugger. Here is Cat. Cat, say hi to chat. Nope. Cat's like, here's the top of my head, chat. Suck yeah. it. You cannot see my special eyes. His very special eyes. Whoop. Now he's getting on the counter. Ah, mm, mm, mm. Not during streams, apparently, cat. You can't get on the island, period. I don't like that. No, I know. <laughs> Bless you, filthy monster. He says that because cat's been leaving snot on his desk. Yup. Constantly. You're putting his cat bed up there. Yeah. And now he also jumps up onto the cat bed and knocks the whole thing off. It's pretty funny. I'm just saying. You started this. <laughs> no, see? And now he spread it to Owl Cat too. <laughs> nope. She doesn't want you up there. No. You can go get in your window if you want. Just use the other counter. And this is just what this stream is devolved into, apparently. It's Cat trying to get on counter with a dog. Because you can't see the dog waiting for the cat to get off. Yes, I can. Just only if I lean. And away they go. <laughs> and Oliver's kind of like, do I care? No. Not super. I'll rotate them, though. It's a Cosmo! Cosmo, you wanna come here? Yeah! Yeah, look at the beautiful boy! Okay, bye bye. Okay, we love our animals. They are basically our children, which is why we've turned into this. Yeah, Ow. pretty much. But yeah, Oliver came back from uh, uh, our dog boarding place with Kennel Cough. And he's recovered. He somehow managed to not pass it on to Cosmo, which I think well, is pretty Cosmo impressive. Was for a little while. Yeah, but that's a different thing. Um, and then Cal got the sniffles. So I just rotated the racks in the oven. So pretty much just or even baking, because I did put two pans in there at once. So. Bless you. <laughs> what I'm actually trying to show him, though, is this. He's trying so hard. He really is. He's really not. Awesome. Yeah, he's only trying to hold a position. He only pulls if I pull back. It's like, I consider myself the victor now. Goodbye. Even though I'm clearly not, and I clearly don't understand how this works. Oh, 
Oh shit. Um, I'm gonna go grab that link that Elf kept put in chat before it's too far gone. Oh, okay. I just have to do it from the other computer. Okay. Well, I guess you're stuck with me, chat. Sorry, your life has evolved into this. It's really all I'm doing right now is dishes! This is the really fun part of cooking. Is when you do the thing and after you enjoy it and then you look at the kitchen and you're like, well shit. Now I have to do dishes. The lid on that is not open. That would be more helpful. So I'm gonna wipe the bowl that has the leftover dough in it soak. Ooh, I missed it. <laughs> yes, that is exactly how Oliver thinks. Tug of War works. Ah. Also, another reason I forget glasses in the kitchen is kind of a bad idea. Steam out of the oven clogs your glasses so you can't see what you're doing. As helpful as that is. No, he's saying, like, for tug of war. Oliver's idea of tug of war. Can you hear me? No. Yes. Okay. Anyway. So, yeah. The hurry up and wait bit of baking also. Is while it's in the oven. Oliver is the one you want to ask on that one. So, anyway. Have I, have I asked everybody how they are? I don't think I have. If I haven't, how are you, Chad? Also, thank you for stopping by, even if you could just pop in for a minute. And I promise we will have food here momentarily to show you. Um, Momentarily. We'll have food to show. Because yay, food. Aw, yay! I'm glad to hear that, Olive Cat. I'm super glad to hear that. Also, thank you again for supporting us to make this happen. Because without you monetarily supporting me, viewing, me watching, me chatting, all those kinds of things do everything to support us and that leads to us doing more stuff for you. So really, it's for your benefit. Aww, I'm sorry I am the dork, that sucks. Like is this your like personal vehicle or is this your truck windshield? cords out of the way of the hot thing would probably be ideal. This is, okay, so, 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 uh, ta-da, got the bits. I'm going to see what temperature these are from. Oh, 
tassels. All right, so this is kind of our final product. So you can get a really lovely view. A little, it's a little tilted. There we go. Boop. I could probably do that in not such an awkward way. But then again, camera control's not that way for it. So yeah, they're a little too hot to handle right now. Um, there, there's a lovely little shot. So yeah, well, I'll make, I'm gonna be doing another batch. Um, so this makes about 18 tassels. Um, we just used Alton Brown's uh, homemade pretzel recipe um, and I just substituted bread flour for all-purpose flour or strong flour for plain flour depending on where you are in the world but yeah so that is I mean really that because we have the cheese sauce we have these pretzels which are done mm, excuse me um, and then I'm gonna be doing the the second batch later but you guys saw the show Yeah, I don't think that that would work as well as we would want it to. Just be like, yo, Chewy, check your box. Keep an eye on your box. And then just some cheese sauce with some frozen facts. Yeah, that would be weird. I would be weirded out if I was Chewy. Um, and just some cheese sauce showed up in my P.O. box. That would be extra strange. I would hope it wouldn't, because that would be really gross. Like, extra gross. Oof. Yeah, no thanks. Um, they would probably have to, like, cordon off and sterilize that box afterwards and fumigate it. Mostly I think they'd have to fumigate it. Ooh. <laughs> Just, like, after a while, the postal worker's like, have you guys noticed that really funny smell emanating from that one P.O. box? I'm like, yeah, we have. Nuke it from orbit. <laughs> I think that might be a little extreme. I think it's really the fumigation. I think it'd really have to be fumigated. Um, I think Cap's coming back out to join us. I feel like I missed something awful. <laughs> Um, I am the dork suggested we mail chewy cheese sauce with no explanation. I feel like that's a very bad idea. Yeah. Like a, an extremely bad idea. Yeah. Also, nuke what from orbit? The cheese sauce sitting in the P.O. box for a very long time. Oh, yeah, that seems like a bad idea. <laughs> I think I have his actual address, but I don't think that would be better. I have no idea. Yeah, no, I think that's a bad idea. I mean, if we could find a way to, like, ship it safely. That just involves... Packing it well and sealing it. And... Yeah. A lot of work. Because part of my job is to ship food safely. Just send him a jar of cheese sauce with no explanation except Aleph Cat. <laughs> I guess we could do that. Seems like a lot of extra work. I mean, for not a lot of appreciation. We probably. can't send it to Aleph Cat. True, we can't. Just randomly send Chewy food with no explanation, just a note that just says Aleph Cat. <laughs> it is literally just labeled Aleph Cat. Yeah. I kind of appreciate that now. I might do that. <laughs> just like save save it in the freezer or something. <laughs> That's would. also very true, Elf Cat. It would not. We would only send you non-perishable items. And only if we could find a way to ship it without breaking our own backs. True. Boop. Tell them it's from chat. We could also do that. We might save a little bit of this cheese sauce. we do get insulated foam boxes on a regular basis. 
What? I already did those foam boxes on a regular basis now. Mm -hmm. But we need like bubble wrap or something as well to keep it from moving around too much. Yeah. All right. You think you're good? I think I'm wrapped. Okay, well, give me just a second. So yeah, um, anyway. Because I didn't actually finish setting up our insulate screen. Okay, well, while he does that, thanks, chat. Thank you to everybody who showed up. Um, thank you to Owl Cat for truly making this possible uh, for us to start this again. Because, holy shit, we love doing this. <laughs> um, we love cooking, we love baking. It's part of what we do. It's what we train to do for the rest of our lives. Some of us just decided against it. Yeah. Some of us, however, did not. Some of us, that's exactly what they're, we're doing. Um, but yeah, so truly, thank you guys so much. Like, this is amazing. Um, it gives me a reason to bake at home again, or cook, or whatever. I mean, I do that sometimes, but not with as much love and as much enjoyment as I'm doing with you guys here. Because, let's face it, you guys rock. Um... And additionally, uh, through this stream, I have now also been looking at uh, cameras and things. Um, I can't say for sure if this sort of thing will be set up by the next time we want to do this stream. But I think it's definitely going to be a thing. Um, basically looking at uh, like goofy... Uh, security cameras basically that we can set up in a couple of different places um, to run this from the good computer and then just give Haley some way of seeing chat and things so I mean Haley or me whichever one of us is actually doing it but yeah yeah so I think this is gonna be a somewhat regular thing that hopefully will I think the the thing on patreon says that it's at least twice a month um, if we get the equipment we'll probably make it if not that often, more often. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it, right? Yep. Okay. Um, I will show you some of the stuff I was looking at, and I will also poke Elfcat about some of it. Yeah, chat on a tablet is probably the exact plan we end up going with. Yeah, and we have multiple tablets, so it's not a big deal. It's mostly just doing it. Yeah. Also, again, one more time, thank you guys so much for showing up, for watching, for chatting. Um, if you're watching this as a VOD, for watching doing, I don't know, the like, subscribe, follow, all well, that kind Well, okay, of you're shit. stealing what I'm gonna yes, cut Yes, I know, so hang on. but it's from me, so I know. it's better. <laughs> so, <laughs> 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 thank you all very much for joining us. I hope you've all had a lot of fun. Um, specifically, we really want to thank our patrons who make this all possible, especially Alephcat, because we wouldn't be doing cooking streams if it weren't for Alephcat. Absolutely. We'd also like to thank Trimmer101, Stark Maximum, Pentaperry, who I... I need to get you into a game, sir. You're never... We can't seem to actually find a time when you're around. But thank you so much. Uh, and I know I missed whoever's at the bottom of the list. Uh, this list is old because it still says Gothic. Uh, Damasu? Damasu, that's Damasu. who's missing. I don't know... Where did it get this? This is not... I don't know where this image came from. This one's wrong. It doesn't even have Aleph Cat on it. It's lying. I... I don't... I deleted that image. I don't know where the scenes pulled it from. Ooh, it's reincarnated. Okay. <laughs> well, for anyone who's watching this as a VOD, or anyone who's new to the channel, please consider dropping a follow or following us on any of these below places. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, where you're probably watching this, and Patreon. thing that I keep forgetting, you can follow people on Patreon. Like, not, not support them. You can actually just follow on Patreon, yeah. so you get... Do notified when, whenever any of their posts go public because all of our posts except for the menagerie of the lair will go public eventually so you'll probably find out before youtube subs find out because youtube they're awesome like that <laughs> um but yeah Haley, if you want to keep like riffing i'm gonna go find us a person to throw to yay riffing 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 i said riffing <laughs> man i can't catch a break with that guy um, yeah, so we're doing the things, we love to do the things, um, I truly appreciate you guys doing all the stuff, because that means Cap can do what he loves. So, you guys are supporting him and kind of following what he wants to do. Um, I mean, I get to do what I love every day, but this, 
this is what he loved. Like, yeah, he trained to bake and stuff, but he loves spending time with you guys and all that kind of shit. Um, I meant that to sound nicer than it did. Um, shit was not the right word. But yeah, spending time with you guys, chatting, getting to know you, like, truly building the community that we've started to build. You guys are amazing. Like, we love having each and every one of you here. Um, how much longer do I have to riff for? I don't know. Um, we're going to be firing right now. Yay, raid! Uh, we are throwing over to Sugar Shot, who is a Sugar Shot. Uh, wonderful, uh, extremely smart uh, streamer. If anyone's aware of uh, Cameron... Uh, or Unarmed Oracle. She is his partner. Um, and I think if you asked Cameron, he'd probably say that she was smarter than him. Uh, she's playing WoW, so it should be a nice, like, relaxed, uh, calm stream. So yeah, thank you all very much, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. He'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.